Hello everyone, how are you? So we're starting with the first season of our episode 1 for this uh, oil is life. We're going to do uh, most of the oil paintings in this season. So let's start with the, the canvas. So we have here uh, a flat canvas. So we basically painted it with the uh, flat black acrylic paint and uh, given it a period of dry. After it's completely dry, we've also given it a very thin coat of uh, the linseed oil and after that a very thin coat of uh, crimson lake. So when uh, we're going to apply the uh, layers of our other colors over it, so it's going to pick up the background of the crimson lake and then the effect will be certain unusual. But it's, it'll be beautiful. So let's start with, so we're going to take our fan brush and uh, with this we're going to have that uh, white oh yeah we're going to have a lot of white in it you can see that my palette is always like this it's it's never be like completely uh be cleaned yeah i know that so we're going to take uh, this uh, both side complete white yeah we have it right a lot a lot of paint a lot of paint a lot of paint yeah so we're going to have this uh, both the sides of white now we're going to have um, we want to uh, take the decision that uh, what we're going to have in here Basically, I just uh, prepared to draw a kind of volcanic eruption. So, with, uh, with this volcanic eruption, I need to have this uh, this sky with uh, a certain cloudy conditions, uh, and uh, the volcano should be somewhere right here, in the middle of maybe somewhere somewhere like here, and then uh, uh, a very uh, short amount of uh, land over here, some trees, and uh, then uh, I would also like to cover it with some of the uh, lake that will that could uh, also have that reflection of the volcano so let's start with the clouds first we're going to make the clouds it's it's very easy you can start with anywhere and uh, there there it is we're going to make it like anywhere anywhere right just not wash it but we need to just rub it on a piece of uh, paper towel tissue paper or something so that it would want to uh, take the color of the background and the second leaf so here we are We're again with the with the turtle white and then again we want some of the clouds over here as well so that on that technique so the canvas would allow us a very uh, like uh, a very decent amount of space to travel from here to there there's no like uh, amount of mistakes that we're going to occur because oil is uh, like the color which can actually provide a lot and a lot of space and yes because we want to have some uh, lake over here so i'm also going to give it a bit here so that it would be a reflection brush and now I'm just going to like easily rubbing it over so that it would be 
nice blending effect and I'm not blending just from the tip of it I'm just blending the sides of it very very easily very gently you don't need to push much harder so it could completely all the effects will be gone I don't want that but I don't want to cover all the blacks because black is the one that will give us the effect of the night. Same from the air and the water as well. I'll just tell you that what's the difference we're going to make in the water and the sky. Just few of these things in the water. Okay. Yeah. And the rest will be like this. From the outer to the inner. Okay. And then a little, very little. There we are. Right. That's going to be a water. And then just fluff it up. upward. And then a bit of it, very, very gently. Very gently. fan brush we're also be having because it's it's like a volcano right so obviously our sky would be somewhere uh, more of the reddish right we're going to use the cat red inch brush the same brush uh, I haven't cleaned it up yet so just rub it over
for this uh, volcano I'm going to take like approximately 70 to 80 percent of the black and very very tiny violet okay so we just leave it out all the black and just cross it over there's a little bit of raw you can see very little okay yeah so now what we wanted is uh, a volcanic type of mountain so it's somewhere near here right yeah brush uh, I haven't uh, wiped it off still you can see it's still the same brush so we're gonna just you can see very very gently and you need to see for the edges so that it won't be you know, that just should be sharp it's not a tree that we're going to do like that, right? Yeah. Just I'm going for the extra paints. Yeah. So uh, we are having uh, our plan. mountain, so now we are creating that lava, so it is like just a little bit, bit of a roll of paint, of orange paint and then with the very very slight pressure, see, we are just creating that mountain lighting effect, right, right here, just very very light pressure. Just squeeze it up. Yeah, very gently. We don't need to put a lot of pressure that uh, could just ruin the effect of the the openings in the mountain. The small little openings that actually created our illusion of the rocks. You can see that uh, I'm taking the roll of paint again and again because uh, it's uh, every time you pay, uh, put the first roll of paint, you need to just uh, wipe off your uh, palette knife because it will going to take 
the background black paint that will going to pollute your uh, orange when you're going to take it from your palette so you need to wash it just wipe it off on a piece of paper towel and then again with a new fresh roll of paint you're good to go so these uh, nearby mountains effect i'm creating because uh, these are all having the light from the lava mountain our main mountain so that's why the lighting should be on a side of that main mountain and then for the shadow we just uh, taking that uh, cobalt red cad red cad red actually yeah so it's the cad red and uh, we're just providing the shadow effect you can see that it's still i'm doing the same thing just a very little pressure and uh, it's actually no pressure you can say just uh, barely touching the mountain and then it is easily going on i always have a uh, like very fantasize about those mountains those lava mountains that how it could be done how it could be like you know it could be very very lighted and uh, what kind of condition in the weather and everything so i just provided as much as i can you can see the small peak as well i created that that is uh, again it's uh, like shadowing opposite to the mountain and light towards the mountain so this is the base of the mountain that i'm creating with the uh, cad red so that uh, because it's having the shadow part so i'm just using the cad red and a little bit of orange as well so that it's a mix of both yeah. our mountain is almost there This is the piece of uh, like where the mountain will end and the maybe a little bit of land is started. So I'm just providing that and uh, after that it's uh, a little bit of like with a 2 inch brush. I'm just uh, blending the bases of that mountain and uh, you can see that there are very you know when they're pulling it, it upward then it's like a kind of uh, you know small trees like thing so that it will give you an effect of very far away uh, forest and then just uh, you can just pull it down to have the water reflection effect and then for that mountain we just uh, have to create that lava so we're just picking up the cad yellow it's uh, basically the normal yellow will also going to work so just with the uh, our flat brush i'm just barely touching it Now, for this uh, part, what we're going to do is uh, a little bit of yellow, alright, with a mix of white, and with a 2 inch brush, 
just with the corner of it I'm just going to put in some wires that mountain and a lot of things it also created some of the uh, trees and the reflection of that uh, lava mountain and this is a very near um, mountain uh, that we created with just the bone sienna as uh, uh, its base and uh, the lighting also with a mix of uh, white so what we're going to do here is uh, a bit more I'm going to show you that how you can say all right now with some of the orange as well because obviously that's the light is going to be falling from here so there needs to be some orange for the highlighting parts so we have just uh, completed in our uh, landmass and uh, this mountain just a bit of uh, the uh, lighting part needs to be done here with the orange right because that is like much open so obviously we need to highlight it much more brush now what we're going to do is just pull it off a bit more from the land just pull it off down and down and down and don't don't just uh, you know, do it like and something like in the cross direction just do it very very gently only in the top down down okay it's a bit of the landmass you're taking that's what all we wanted yeah here we are right and then just gently Gently, very gently. Right. Draw the water line. Again. and then
Now what we want is a little bit of like trees over here and something so that uh, you know it will cover all the grounds and uh, then it will be nicer in that way. So what we are going to do is we are going to use our fan brush again and with this we are going to just put the both side with the black okay just good amount of black good amount of black okay yeah and then maybe uh i would like to have some trees over there as well that mountain can be like a very you know it's far away so I'm just making very small trees, very, very small trees. brush see it's a very very big decision that what you want here. very big decision because that's where the painting is lying Now what we want here is our land right so I just want to have that land starts from here just with this uh, brush with the you know moving it like the from the bottom to the upward right we're just making a few little grasses as well effect and uh, this will give us the land this will give us the land
This is a tree. All right, which is half, but is no more. Okay, it's like broken, and uh, then it's like a uh, few of the trees I want. I mean, a very little tree. So now uh, we're going to take that hooper tree little bit of uh, white mixed. So now we're just you know, with a fan brush, just with the you know edges, just tip up the edges, just tip up the edges, and then all you So uh, here we are, just putting the highlights, not with like here in this. Uh, uh, because this portion is going to be lit up more like reddish or maybe you know, uh, orangish that comes back from here. So uh, from the shadow part, the shadow part, which is, let me see, just one pass, pass, and then just uh, down with it. Paint is over on a fan brush, just wipe it off a piece of big top. It will remove the black color that is it is picking up from the uh, background and then again it's the same tapping the edges and then again remember the way you just Placed on your black here, the same way you're going to place on the rest of the color, whatever you're going to put in here.
just the crisscross. Just the crisscross. Making it some some of the you know bigger leaves. Just leaving them so that it looks like more of you know uh, other than the mountain otherwise it will going to be merge up in the mountain that we don't want it one inch brush we just again have a tap on our uh, hooker's green and now we're going to prepare those grasses just a little bit of taps nothing else we need to do just a little bit of taps Now what we're going to do here is uh, to highlight our tree's trunks, right? In order to do that, uh, I just pick up the burnt sienna with a little bit mix of white, and then just with a palette knife, I'm going to do like this, right? Just like this. Great.
little bit of whites. Little, little bit of whites and then just some of the places. to rub it up just to blend it just to blend it Here we are, I think we're done, right? Uh, these are vegetations and everything. And now we just want to have a very, very little need to do that is with the liner brush. We don't want much, just a little bit of touch. So that it'll going to give us the effect. I've enjoyed it a lot i hope so you too enjoyed it see you in the next episode till then happy painting god bless you